Hi everyone, it's Glenn here again. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I want to show you just my RCs that I have here, um, what I've got left and all that type of thing. And also I'd like to talk about what's going to be happening with myself and my channel over the next couple of months and what's happening because I think my subscribers will need, like I would like to let you know because you've stuck with me all this time. So we'll get on with showing you my cars and then I'll explain what's going to be happening and yeah, we'll go from there. So this one here was one of my hard body builds for my rock crawler. Jeep, all these lights are all hooked up. Um, I haven't finished it just yet. You see underneath there with all the wires and all the mess and all that type of thing. I was just gonna use it as a showpiece, turn the lights on and have them flashing or whatever else. But like I said, with everything else in time, you don't really have much time. And sorry about the dodgy angle of the camera and all that type of thing. Uh, just hand holding it, so it's gonna be a bit bumpy and wobbly. So we'll start off with my son's cars here. That's the HSP 110 scale. Um, this here does run on 3S, 2 and 3S. This is my Bandit. I finally found a new shelf for it, a proper one for it. So I've just got to paint that, put a new motor ESC in it. Um, and this is my other son's car. Runs an armor system in it. Let's see if I can zoom back a bit. And this is the one that I did the um, the clear chassis upgrade to it. So I built that chassis myself. Bit rough, but you know, it works. That's the main thing. Um, now coming down to one, this is my Limitless. It's still Sydney, haven't touched it. I should do something with it, but I've just got to find time. And I don't want to get rid of it because for me personally, the Armour Limitless is just such a nice looking car. That's the um, battery for a plane, the 6S. I'll show you that in a minute. There's the boat. It's still there in all its natural glory. Um, haven't done anything with that either. Just work and all that. Haven't had fun time, but it will be getting done. Trust me. Um, now, coming down to here, this is the GV that um, I'll, I am working on too, like the rest of them. Um, I end up getting the felony deep dish in the rear and normal on the front. I do have another motor for it, and I am doing a custom exhaust with this. I'm not sure if I showed you already when I was working on this, but yeah, that's that's another job. Then I have this here. This is a Serpent um, Truggy. Does run the, oh, I haven't showed you this yet, but I've got to try to weasel out here. I'll get rid of one of these controllers. So I can get it out. There we go. And don't mind the mess. So I'll explain what's going on in a minute. Just bear with you guys. Just gotta move a bit of crap out of the way. So this is running the um, Tekken R8 setup. I'll just put this down for a sec. So I've got to take these body pins out. And I will be doing more of this Truggy, when I get time, and I'll explain a few things. So, yeah, it's got the T8 engine, brushless engine, and you've got your R8 Gens 2. But yeah, that's it there. Um, I've got to find a little bit more information about this, and I wouldn't mind doing a rebuild on this thing here with newer parts. Um, probably get rid of the rusted screws and change a few things over, but. By the looks of it, just, if I can zoom in, looks like they're threaded and they've screwed a hole in there, but I've tried undoing, I couldn't undo it, so may have to um, maybe drill them out and then maybe replace the bulkhead, whatever happens. We'll, we'll get to that when we get to it, I suppose, um, but I am really itching to work on this thing here because it's so nice. So I'll put these clips back on. I just thought I'll show you, you know, where I'm up to. And sorry, guys, I put you back on the ground again. Sorry about this. Like I said, this is just a quick video because I want to explain to you what's going to be happening with me. Um, actually, I might just do it now. Um, what's happening is that we are moving nine hours away from where we're living at the moment. So. 
with him saying that, I'm not sure when I'll be putting up another video after this one here. I do have one on my phone that I might just post, oh, probably randomly. Um, but it'll probably be, probably be a good couple of months before maybe repost another video. Um, because I just don't know when I'm going to have time. We're going to be working. It's going to be pretty hectic putting, you know, unpacking and all that and trying to sort out the schools and stuff like that. So please bear with me when I don't post up many videos because they'll be, they'll be coming through thick and fast after that. Um, there'll be a lot more drag videos, testing and all that as well, which I can't, I'm really itching to go back out and do on that again. That was an absolute blast. Beat my personal best. Um, but yeah, I'll beat it again now because I've made a few little changes with the controller and I reckon I should hopefully get to 2.5. That's my plan. If I get less, I'll be cheering. If not, we'll try to get below that in the next few runs. But yeah, I think I've given away too much already with that run. But yeah, please stick with me over the next couple of months. It's going to be pretty hectic. Um, I don't want to lose any subscribers because these all mean the world to me. Thank you very much for everyone that watches my channel. And I hope you enjoy the content, but that's what's going to be happening um, starting, well, we're moving the, pretty much the day after Christmas. Um, so it's going to be, it's been pretty hectic up to now, and that's why I haven't put out another video, because we've just been packing, organising stuff, and trying to get everything going, and then, yeah, everything's going to be packed up and moved to where we're going to, and then Doug got unpack. And I should start getting videos back out again. So please stick with me, guys. Um, be very much appreciated. So the next car that I have here is my VE GV SS Holden Heroes Ute. Um, I've shown this on the channel a few times. I've got a heap of parts for the belts and all that. So if you have any, if you if you want the code for the belt, please inbox me. I'll let you know what the code is. Um, but it might take a little bit because I packed the belt up. So. Just leave with me. That's my 1.8 scale build. That was from Nitro to Electric. Still there. Um, then I've got the Armour Fury just here. It needs a lot of TLC. Probably needs a new shell. As you can see, it's all taped up. I haven't touched it yet, but I want to try to rebuild that one as well when I get time. There's a bunch of shells. I just have sitting there. I'm not sure what type of car it is. It might be a Honda. I'm not too sure. But yeah. So I've got a heap of them. Just the spares. Um, now coming over to here guys, we've got this here, like I said please ignore the mess, so I've got this plane here that down the track I might see if I can build, make it as an electric, um, and I'll show you the wings for it, that's the wing there for it, so that's the plan with that there, I'm not sure when I get around with that with all my other stuff I've got to do, now this is my jet, just here. It is working. The wheels do drop down, as you can see. The lights work and flash. Um, there's the, one of the wings for it. That'll be on there. This here will run on 6S. So I wouldn't, my goal is to fly this jet. I just don't know when, because I don't want to destroy it. So I actually really like it. Um, if you want to see more of this jet, let me know when I'll, when we, Finished getting the move over and done with. I'll do a full video on the jet if you like. Um, underneath here is my little pride and joy. So that's the the vet. Now with that there said, I have another plane over here. I think it's a Piper Pippa plane. I think it is. Don't know much about the RC planes, to be honest, but I want to learn more. So that's it there. That's the wings for that. And then I do have my rock crawler here. So I've got the original shell here that I decked out and I showed you guys with the removable tracks, max tracks and all that. And now I've repainted it. I'll just move this bike out of the way. And I'll show you what I've done at the back. There's a light bar. And that's the back of it. So I'll put a bit of antlers there. Got your NOS tanks. But the paint does change colour. 
Now, I wanted to try to do something different, so that's why you can actually see the black through it. See the markings? I didn't want it absolute spotless because it's a rock crawler. So you want it to look a bit rough. You get what I mean? Like, that's why I did it like that. Can't make it look too clean, which it looks too clean. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's it there. Um, so yeah, within saying that, that's, that's all the stuff I have left. Um, I've got plenty of work on, plenty of RCs to work on. Um, I've got the boat, the Limitless, I've got the GV at the bottom. So I'll have, sorry, I'll have the band, I'll start with the band. I've got the bandit, the Limitless, the boat, the GV. I want to work on the Serpent to bring it back to new. I've changed the bearings and all that because the bearings are a bit rusty on there. Um, the Fury. And then, yeah, don't have to work on that one now. I don't know if I'm going to keep that for parts or not. I did it as a build and, yeah, just want to um, change it up a bit. Don't mind the Lego there. That's for the kids. We packed all the other Lego up for them. So, but, yeah, that's, um, that's about it at the moment. So... Like I said, guys, please stick by me with these next couple of months because it's going to be hectic enough as it is, for at least for me anyway, for, with the move and all that. Um, I will be having excellent content coming up very soon. Hopefully, I'm really praying I could start doing videos again in February. I know it seems like a fair way away, but I'm still packing up here. And like I said, all this is going to be packed up and taken nine hours away up towards the coast. So... It's a fair, fair trip for me anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I just won't have much time to do any running videos or working on videos, not for a little while, but once I get up there and get all my desks set up and all my parts back out and all that, I'll do a video and let you know where I'm up to and go from there. But I do have one video left on my phone. Um, I may post that in January sometime just to... Throw a video out there for you guys. It's only a very, very short one. Like, it's probably like four minutes, not even. Um, but yeah, at, at the moment, that's all I've got. I just, for the last probably two months, we've been, you know, packing, selling, getting stuff organised. So it's been pretty hectic. And just after Christmas will be the, will be the worst of it. And then we should be up there New Year's. And then we'll put everything together and hopefully... Start throwing out some content. Hopefully before February will be great. For me anyway, I'll be able to throw up a video and say, look, we're here. And show you what I'm up to and what I'm really ready to do. And make it start, you know, start running then. So, thanks again, guys, for all your love and support with these videos. Thank you for watching my videos. Stick it by me with, you know, not posting for a little while, then posting. Um, this move was just out of the blue. It was not expected whatsoever. So I didn't, I wasn't expecting, or even my wife or nothing I was expecting. So it was just one of those things that popped up and it happened. So, um, yeah, so thanks for sticking by me. Thank you for watching my videos. Please, you know, please stick by me while I do this move thing. And yeah, I'll have excellent, great content coming up very soon. And thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for watching, watching my video, guys. And I'll talk to you later. See ya.